for listening. At this point, I will call on the students that have just matriculated today. They will stand and sing the first verse of the national anthem while others remain uh, seated. Thank you as we do that. Businessmen, we are visionaries. We have touched the flag, we are holding the flag, we are presenting to you our promises. And it is left you to walk in this direction. And I can assure you, we are obedient enough, you will surely be there. Business is different from vision because this is a vision. We can pass through the hardest rock for you to get your dream realized. Let me just be brief with this. Do you know this institution is a member of German Nigeria Chamber of Commerce? And I want to give you the record of this. As of January this year, we have about uh, 428 German companies in Nigeria. But at this very moment, we are having about 525 German companies in Nigeria. Full German companies. 
Now, I sat down and I was just thinking, who are the people to work under this company? There are some things that I can say before my German colleagues that I know they may not be understanding, but I can say before uh, my colleague because she's an international woman. You know, you can have a staff and that staff will only be a staff. And you can have a staff and that, that staff will just be, it's, it can be a team leader. So here, we don't see ourselves as staffs, but as, team, as teammates, team leaders. And we are all visionaries. So I, I was wondering, who are the people to work in this German company? Yeah, most of the technology, that they will not call anything in English. It's going to be called that in German. For example, the baseball complex of all this, the German embassy itself. The German embassy will tell you, if you want to charge us the cards, you write, you charge us the cards in German language, under the German law, not in English. Then you'll be wondering, how can I? Where would I get the German lawyer that will, start, that will fight for me, that will do this? But even if you got a German lawyer, are you sure the lawyer is doing what is right? Because you do not understand the language. And that is the power of language. Do you know what? When they ask me where, where am I from, I tell people, I'm not from Nigeria, I'm not from America, I'm not from Italy, I'm not from Africa. I am a global brand. I'm an international man. I look for something to back this up. And what is that? And uh, my Holy Spirit took me down to the book of uh, Genesis 11.7. Where that is the tower of Babylon. When they were building this tower, you know, they were speaking just one language. If you are aware of this in the Bible, can you just wave your hands? Breath in enough way. It just endowed us with his wisdom. Now, see the life of a man. You want to use that wisdom in which is given to you for great benefits? To like bring the heaven down. You want to take head to be above and bring heaven to be below. It is not possible for the master of the universe. It can't defeat him. Now look at it. When God scattered their language and looked at them, where are they scattered this language? And the people, they, they began speaking in several languages. So, I thought of it. There were people that would mastermind the projects that would be the architect of that tower of Babylon there. And God scattered their languages. Who, who, they, 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 let me say we have seven uh, super architects. Maybe this one is speaking Chinese. This one is uh, made Mandarin. This one is speaking German. That one is speaking uh, African. This one is speaking uh, uh, Dutch. They, can't, they couldn't only start themselves again. And they went different directions. And they couldn't just interpret the master plan anymore. That was the end of the Tower of Babylon. Now, my people perish because of lack of wisdom and what? Now, why you have to really learn a new language even from the current scientific research? By year 2025, if you do not know any foreign languages, it can be in soup. You will be considered irrelevant. I look at which language, which country, that the language has a state of security for your life, for Africa. Because even the German ambassador said that Nigeria is the future of the world. You can just go to YouTube and find out about this. So, you we learn new languages. It's, it's just as if we are trying to come out together in one body. Now, by the time you get to Germany, you were able to study, to take a lecture in German language. Do you know the Nigerian that studied in Germany, they tried to apply to German embassy and without any recommendation, they give them jobs straight away. Because they understand the rudiments. They know the language already. They know everything already. They have millions of my hands. But why not need 10 billion? 
at the tip of my fingers. Wisdom will bring it out. So, I'm sorry, my colleague. We have to be sincere. We don't have to be a slave in our own country. You don't have to go to Germany and be a slave. How can you just be a counterpart, direct counterparts, leaders, a team member with, for example, someone like my colleague here, is for you to be able to understand each other's language. If I should go to the eastern part of Nigeria and I just go to their marketplace, do you know if I'm able to speak Igbo language correctly, I may buy everything in the market for free. Or outside, or you go to the north. People, oh, you can speak my language. I know I'm a rector. He has to a security man at the entrance. Oh, you are a neighbor man. He speaks his language or anybody. Oh, it's always good. And we are on the verge of even going with a, with a very great project to be translating German language to different key languages in Nigeria. So that we learn with a mother tongue where the Europeans to the Germans who will come to Nigeria, learn Yoruba, learn Igbo. So they can, we, they can also go there. All, all of us, we, we just take, we, we, we just teach in our, in our tongue, in our mother tongue. So, taking a million naira salary is slavery. Look at the German companies I was talking about. I will run up in just um, a minute. How many Nigerians do you have as the top government functionaries? No, it has to be the Germans. I'm just talking about German language now. We have several um, uh, uh, foreigners in this country. We have the Chinese, we have Lebanese, we have several of them. When you see them as in Abuja there, you know, going with, in convoy to their to, 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 to their um, quarters, we see about, sometimes I carry about 200 vehicles that contain foreigners. So where are the Nigerian leaders? So you have to just take international education so serious. And I want to tell you this, I don't know whether today, tomorrow I'm going to die, but I won't die in Jesus' name. I will live long. I'm ready to devote myself, my blood, my bones, to make sure Nigeria becomes a great nation on the globe. And I want to employ you. I don't talk with my life. I'm not a joker. You know that. You all know that. I don't want anybody to like me. I don't want anybody, I don't care if you hate me. In as much I'm telling you the truth. And you see reasons to like me, like me. Your future is very important. I'm not building, I'm not building myself treasure, but what I want is that tomorrow when there is a recommendation from federal government of Germany or Nigeria, you people will be our recommendation. We can't recommend ourselves for anything. That's why we have to do it well. And with all sincerity, take your study serious so there will be a global plan. So I will be like Dr. Jackson, so there will be like, you will be greater than Krishna Shiva, you will be greater than Dr. Timothy, you can just Google his name. He's, he is humble when, he's, when he teaches in class. He has written several books. Um, see, he's on several journals, on international journals. And when he was delivered, did you see any sign of poverty in his academic competencies? Did you see that? No. If you want to be like, I don't know, you want to be greater than him, he has two masters, he's still pushing his vision. If you want to be like Barista Rafa, he's a lawyer, he's a barista, he's also a lecturer, he has his PhD. He has to see the good life, the holy. Your parents, they have devoted more than enough when it, when it is not easy. Don't, you young boys, don't pursue the young girls. You will still enjoy all this in future. Be morally upright. And the Lord God Almighty will bless you indeed. I have a promise. Can you find us with your flag? Jesus, the only name that I know. Your vision and mission will be fulfilled. Amen. The reason why you are here will be accomplished. Amen. Efforts will arise for you. Amen. Oh my God. You will make it. Amen.
the wisdom, knowledge, and the association required of you to get to where you are going. The Lord will give that to you. Amen. Well, as I wish you, so shall you be for myself and my children. Amen. For transplant, the principals, and uh, Shemaiah, the Bamba, Russia. Don't we have it already? Yeah. Fine. It's all our sundry. A standing location for director. Please, let's stand up and appreciate him, please. Let's stand up and appreciate Dr. Gucci Day and the secular leader. A leader official. Thank you very much. This is Adulu Ju Ayodeji for the closing prayer. Everybody. Father, we bless you for a wonderful time in this program. Accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. We pray for everyone that will be traveling back. They will have safe trip to their various destinations in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Now, the program has come to an end. The recession follows and hence everything. So the procession will leave the matriculation ferry in the reverse order. The assembly will remain standing while the procession retires with light music. Peace. I wait to your responsibility.